deadheads are lost for words this morning. I think that might have actually happened before. Their favorite band, the Grateful Dead, played their last ever show Sunday in Chicago. The surviving members performed for a record-setting crowd of about 71,000 people. Many more watched on pay-per-view or live streams. Dean Reynolds is at Soldier Field in Chicago to show us how the band and its fans are paying tribute. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, before this weekend, the largest concert crowd at the new Soldier Field was 68,000 for a U2 performance back in 2009, but the dead beat that number for all of its concerts here this past weekend. And Billboard magazine says the group is likely to realize about $50 million in profits from ticket sales for its final concerts here. The band that famously sang The Music Never Stopped finally did. After half a century together, the Grateful Dead is no more. Concerts like these kept the group trucking all those years. The Dead famously jamming and improvising during shows. The songs never played the same way twice. Bill Kreutzmann is one of the band's drummers. You were never a top 40 band. You weren't even really that great on the radio because your songs went on too long or whatever. Your fame came from live mm -hmm. performances. Yeah, from this. Why well, I'm sitting here talking with you is because I can get people to smile. I see them out there dancing. They're having a good time. That's why I do it. This weekend, the Empire State Building was lit up in psychedelic colors in tribute. The group traces its roots to the hippie scene of the 1960s San Francisco, and throngs of deadheads made the Chicago Bears home stadium seem more like a counterculture mecca. The one lesson the Grateful Dead taught me, and I hope it teaches everybody, is to live in the moment, to enjoy right now. For all its success, the band almost didn't become the Grateful Dead because of a dispute between Kreutzmann and lead guitarist Jerry Garcia, who died 20 years ago. Nobody heard of the words the Grateful Dead. For those words to become to come up off of a dictionary and suddenly be, let's make this the name of the band, Jerry said, it was outrageous to me, but we argued for hours. Over the name? Yeah, we said no way, but we didn't, we didn't want to keep the old name. But we thought that new idea was terrible, but luckily we lost the argument. Now, each member of the Grateful Dead has a band of his own now, so while the dead may be dead, their music is likely to go on and on. Ben? <laughs> All right, Dean, thanks so much. So 50 million bucks for a weekend's work, do we think the dead really is dead? Would you, if you got that check, would you give up? I don't know, I wouldn't. Yeah. I think they're keeping tie-dye t-shirt makers in business, though. Mm -hmm. Did you see that guy in his t-shirt? Absolutely.